All right, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Living Our American Dream. Today, I intended to take a video on putting in the gas line to the barn. Um, unfortunately, I was by myself, and I couldn't get the, the all the video footage taken and do the project at the same time. By the time my cameraman, Michael, who's running the camera now, got here, it was getting dark, as you can see right now behind me. So we just went ahead and got it done. I promise I will show that implement, uh, that subsoiler with the trencher device attached to it. I will show that when we do the water lines. But right now, I'm going to do a little something different. <coughs> Excuse me, for our video. I am going to take a video for myself. I'm going to take a quick video of this trench that we dug with the subsoiler with measurements so that I know where all the lines are in the future. I can come back to this video on YouTube if I ever need to know where the lines are at and I will know based on this video where everything's at. Okay, so first off, here's the pile of pipe that we use. That's all the pipe that we got left over. This is a three quarter inch underground variable gas line. I bought 500 feet of it. I only needed about 200 feet, so I'll probably try to sell this on Craigslist. There's nothing wrong with it, but uh, in the meantime, I wanna take a video. Here's the gas meter at the house, and we use that sub, so I had to hand dig the rest of this, but we use a subsoiler to come right around the corner of the house. You can see where Michael is at is where this trench goes right right by the side of the house probably what is that Mike about four feet from the corner of the house so from the corner of the house it's a straight line over to there where the path goes through to the barn okay so that's one dimension straight basically a straight line through there you can see right through here we had to locate the power line that goes to the barn so that we didn't hit it and when we located this thing Marcus and I just took a measurement and you can't see the line but you can see where I put the flags down there when we dig this up later if we ever have to Marcus the dimension was what 24 and a half feet 24 and a half feet straight from the front door of the house so if I take a measurement straight from that front door directly straight out to where we're at 24 feet 6 inches is where the barn power line is at and this straight line for the trench for our gas line is going to be somewhere between 12 and 18 inches deep and it's going to go right over here and it's going to turn the corner not quite in the center i intend this maple tree right here to stay here so and and this decorative pear tree will stay here it's not quite in the center of those two it's off center a little bit Okay, and it goes straight over to the barn underneath the driveway uh, almost a straight line not to the corner of the barn but about five feet in from the corner and from here you now we can hand dig from here but uh, basically this is going to go there'll be a fitting right here and it'll come up and we'll go uh, hard gas pipe from here uh, in and then up probably somewhere up into here on the inside and that's where our heater will be so this is the video that we took for today this is all we're going to take because the intention of this video is for me to be able to come back to this later if i ever need to locate these lines i can look up my old video on trusty old youtube assuming that it'll still be around and i'll be able to find these lines so thanks for watching the video and hopefully, like I said, I promise that we will use the subsoiler attachment when we run some water lines and or electrical lines either later this fall or more likely probably in the springtime. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.